Hi, Antoine here from 4x4i4 Foundation. We're here in the Morimoto School in the southeastern side of the Okavango Delta. We have just finished circumnavigating the whole delta and it was brutal. There's a number of factors that are going on here. One of them is wildlife conflict within these rural areas. And we are really grateful to Natural Selection, who is part of this school, who is helping curve the correct conflict with these elephants in the rural areas. The Natural Selections came up with this big project, which now involves in all the farmers, of which we have got an ongoing project now, by fencing around fields for farmers, and then it is being electrified so that is to try to reduce uh, the conflict between human and wildlife. You know, it, it has been a very hard time, especially for farmers, because they didn't have any other forms of chasing these elephants. You know, elephants are very clever, they are very smart. You do something with them uh, for 10, 20 years, they learn that, and then they will not get scared. You come and then you clap your hands, yes, nine out of 10, it can work. Uh, but uh, always they will learn. They say, oh, now he's clapping hands to me. It's time for me to dance. If you fence around your field with uh, uh, the, the, the bushes, it gets destroyed very easily by elephants because you just walk over it. Uh, this elephant has been in her force and then it came last night. It raided her field and they have destroyed much more on the other side, that's where they have destroyed much more. And uh, she even tried to take all uh, the leftovers because uh, there's nothing left more. So there's nothing she can do. But this elephant, they don't come every day. So they come maybe after a week or after two weeks. So working closely with the farmers, allows us to you know create a situation where all those that can work work well and if they work well the farmers are able to subsist and live off of their their hard work farming this the farmers they bring in the poles which are natural poles but these poles they don't uh, cut from live trees they look for trees which elephants have broken down and then they'll bring them along here then they will put them the farmers put them by themselves and then now, uh, uh, through natural selections and partnering with Elephant for Africa, they will be helping with electrification of these uh, fields. This is the solar station. And then uh, the top here, these are the solar panels, which acts more like a roof. And uh, have got two batteries here. And this is the energizer. And the uh, energizer uh, supplies uh, electricity uh, to the fans. This project started early this year. It's a very good uh, initiative, indeed. Thank you, our camper, for giving us the opportunity to go around the Okavango Delta screening school kids eyes age 10 to 14. It's been an amazing experience and so much has happened. We've also discovered organizations like Elephants for Africa that are teaching humans how to coincide with wildlife. Upliftment in these communities plays a huge role and we really want to give them the opportunity that we can with our eyesight and show them that loving people, loving nature is definitely the way to go.